Hey guys, welcome back to the video. And today I'm feeling much better and I have a lot of things to do. Don't get fooled by the fact that outside is dark right now. Uh, it's England and it's like, you know, it's four o'clock right now. The sun is setting so, so quickly these days and it's uh, rising so late. And uh, yeah, as I said, I have a lot of things to do today. Uh, on top of I'm being two days behind with the project. Plus now I have to do also a couple of things for my other startup that uh, you might have remember this guy that I'm partnering up with. And yeah, today I will be editing the video for uh, the event we drove in. Also, you would remember from the previous videos as well, as well as I will be finishing the database that uh, the MVP part of that project as well. And I will be today also adding a user flow and a dashboard discovery logic to the application so i have maybe six seven hours if you don't uh include food or like you know resting and everything let's see if i can actually knock this down today i need to power through this project and see if i can actually manage it in uh six maybe five hours yeah let's do that <laughs> in five six hours let's build a brand new uh product brand new stuff <laughs> and see how that's gonna work. And yeah, so now I'm rendering the last video and the video part is finished and currently it's 8 p.m. <laughs> yeah, so I don't have much time left, we will see. Uh, if I'm gonna be able to finish it or not, but uh, it doesn't look very promising right now. So, uh, also the videos are massive, so I'm sorry Wasidi, you're gonna have to wait one more day until I go to WeWork and use their fast internet because my Wi-Fi is not gonna cut it. Uh, anyway, what else is left for today is uh, I'm gonna create the database for the rare founders the other startup that i was working on uh first i'm gonna i'm gonna start with planning and one of the other things that i want to do we have now the domain and the email accounts then i want to move everything from my personal account into this domain into this company's domain so we can you know be more legit and everything and Another thing is for the data points that I need to create a schema for the database where I determine how the and how the records are going to look like and which uh, properties that we're going to store in this database. So this one, I already have one. I already had one. Actually, I came up by myself that without knowing anything we had a meeting with Vasily in day, I think it was 11 or 12, I don't know, one of those. He basically showed me what is the vision that he was thinking for this MVP and what is an MVP that we would consider. So I have now a more clear understanding of how the data set is going to look like, how the records are going to look like and what we're going to show in the UI itself. So now that I have that information, I can just start planning out and this time I want to actually create the database from scratch and using the company account. This way we can make sure that, you know, everything is done under the company's name and not my personal accounts that is not messing up with anything. And uh, it's going to be nice and tidy where we have the company accounts. We can add people, remove people from there. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to do that now. So the next thing is just to do the planning and um, create the database. I already have a UI, I already have a bit of UI and I will make sure that is this UI is going to handle all these uh, new fields or the new database that I'm going to be implementing. And I have uh, Lambda functions that is handling getting the users, getting the list and everything and the filtration. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do that for the next hour. I will try to finish that in, an, in the next hour or two. And then that's going to be give me two more hours to work on the actual challenge. And then I need to edit this video so you can watch it as well. And yeah, let's go do that now. Uh, 
it's 10 o'clock, exactly 10 o'clock actually, right now that I'm looking at the time. And I have completed the work for the database. And let me tell you more about this project. So this project, the company called the Rare Founders. Wasili was running these events for founders and investors for a while. And uh, inviting founders and investors into the space. There's a 20 minute networking. And then we select random five, six founders come to the stage and then pitch their business for one minute, kind of do like an elevator pitch. And whoever goes beyond the one minute marker, then we spray them with water guns. So that's the concept. And we we have been getting 200, 300 people coming to the event. And uh, all these people who registered the event, we have this data as well from uh, the where we organized the event. And the idea was to turn that into a database where investors can come, see and uh, look, filter, do pretty much anything on that and see the details of the companies that they might want to invest. And what I did today is actually uh, use that data that uh, whoever comes to the event and also gives consent for us to share this information with investors that I have created this database right now, then Tomorrow, I will be adding this data into a UI and make sure that we have all these filters that we can see and uh, find whatever industry that we are looking for, whatever the ticket size and all these anything like, you know, investor related stuff. So that is done now and it's 10 o'clock. So now let's go into our project and what I'm going to do today. So I'm going to create user flow. I want to create some like uh, multiple users that can upload data. And also I can see, you know, how the users can interact with each other and also see, you know, create the discover logic behind where users rather find challenges, right? Or find people who are doing really great on certain challenges and maybe that would Im inspire them to do that challenge as well maybe like a link to a challenge i'm still not sure about that so i will do a little bit of exploration session so i will see you know like how can i actually link all of these things and how can i create the flow and then um for the remaining one hour of the day then i will be turning that into an actual working version i will try at least a probably it's not gonna happen today but uh i will try to go as far as i can and we will see all right yeah so let's go do that now. all right i'm done and what i have done is i have deployed the api to an endpoint where it's uh, outside of the local host and i can call it anywhere so why did i do that because i have built the application on my phone and then without needing my computer and wi-fi around the house that i can still use the application so when i uh, take the application to someone else and then show the application here how it works um I would be able to get the information from my database directly. So that was why I have uh, deployed the API. The front end is still local and because there are still major you know, holes in that, but um, the major layout has been done now. So I've created the necessary screens and everything. And only thing to left right now, just create uh, endpoints. Also create the schemas, not even creating the schemas to be honest, like the only thing that left at this point, just code the uh, UI and create the endpoints. That's it. Once we done that, I have all the logic for the feeds. I have all the logic for the users and I have all the logic for discoverability of all these like uh, new challenges and everything. And I have all the logic for creating challenges as well. No, so yeah, uh, that's all it is from today. It's almost midnight now. I have done, uh, I don't know, maybe five, six hours of uh, coding sprint today. Uh, it's not much for compared to other days, but you know, it's a solid work, so uh, we will continue putting more hours tomorrow. I'll see you in the tomorrow's video.